about TSM is uh, we try to interact with uh, our fans a lot so like before our game crib we would make uh, would film ourselves doing stupid stuff like tossing boxes out on the street um, blow I mean basically Darius burn almost burning the house down via microwave uh, stuff like that so um, people got to know us more people got to know more about our lives uh, I guess Game Crib uh, not only did that, but also showed stuff that maybe we don't want to show. Um, more like the drama stuff, like our vlogs are like funny stuff, us hanging out, like going to movie theaters, asking girls out, stuff like that. But Game Crib catches that and also catches uh, the drama, you know, how t how we interact as a team. Like we went, obviously like before we wouldn't film our own team, like strategizing, that's sort of dumb. But oh, if Game Crib, it's basically we like, what are we going to do, hide it? like. Uh, we can't really hide it from the camera, um, so uh, that's the new part of it. So people know how the team chemistry works, like the drama going on. Like, uh, like for instance, uh, the chaos thing. No one would have known what happened if uh, I guess Game Crib wasn't following us around. So uh, you'd have a very limited story. You get some PR statement, blah blah, and then that'd be it. You wouldn't know what happened. But uh, with Game Crib around, uh, you can't really hide that. Um, really peers into our lives and. Uh, it's, yeah, that's the different part, I guess. It's just, you see more of the drama that happens. Uh, uh, but we mostly just chill out and hang out and have fun. Life completely changed. Everyone knows what's going on. And um, like, I just kind of dealt with it, adapt, adapted to it. At first, at first, I didn't, at first I didn't like it at all because it was a big change, you know, but every, everyone doesn't like change. And then after the change, it was just, I just got used to it and it just became a daily life thing. and. I'm fine with it now, and uh, like it's it's pretty cool because so many people like actually care about you to like check into your daily life. I think that's a really cool aspect. Is every everyone's just a normal person, you know, and like you live your life, it's it's normal. And for like hundreds of thousands of people to actually take interest in you, that's a pretty cool thing when you say. So I think that's really cool that like, we have fans and stuff, and um, it's 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 becoming a lot more normal to me. Before it was just like, what the heck. You just get more, more of uh, this how we, how we talk. We're forced to kind of talk about what we're thinking, and I mean, it's 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 just more about us. So it's not too big of a difference. I mean, sometimes I don't really want to talk about stuff, but I know that I should. Man, that's the only difference. The only times I do give a shit is if I wake up or if I'm sleeping. And I wake up in the morning and I go on my computer and then they're slowly walking in with the camera. There's, there's very, very few times that it's like, I don't want to do shit. I just want to fucking look at my computer because I'm so addicted to my computer and video games that there's just, there's just some times where I just need my me time is when I'm playing on the computer, when I'm watching anime or watching my Chinese dramas or watching YouTube or Reddit or Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, like that's all become a daily part of my life. And it usually doesn't take that long to get that segment like of myself done. And after that, I'm usually okay. Uh, so yeah, there's this live cams everywhere. I mean, you can't walk around half naked anymore. Um, uh, stuff like that, you always just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know how different it is, like, I'm not, it's not like I'm doing anything illegal, um, so, it's not that much different, because you see me on the live stream constantly when I, uh, stream the game, um, you basically know what my life is like, I just walk around the house, go to 7-Elevens, McDonald's and stuff, basically that stuff, so, uh, yeah, you don't really see, like, I, I don't really hide anything, I guess, like, so if the camera's around, yeah, your moves are being watched, but, uh, unless I'm like, yeah, like I'm not not doing anything really different because it's just a normal life of a gamer. Just play games, eat, s sleep, and uh, that's basically it. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not that different, honestly. Uh, being on the show is, it's, I really don't know. It's just really fun, I guess, being on the show with a camera guy around you all the time. People often get a only a part of the story but they tend to feel like they've got everything i mean 
Um, the, the video dudes at GameCube, they've done a really awesome job at just showing what our lives are, but you can't show every detail, and oftentimes things can get misrepresented. But honestly, we're used to getting misrepresented. We're, I mean, we play League and we kind of stream a lot and people often judge us. So honestly, it didn't really affect me, but it's always something to keep in mind. You try to, try to say things in a way that can't be misrepresented, but even then, stuff happens, so, oh well. And like, they don't really see it, but I get so much more crap when we lose than when we win. And I'm like the guy that's trying to make the calls, trying to hold the team together. And I'm, I'm pretty much a coach because we don't have a coach. So I'm always coaching the guys, telling them what they did wrong. And like the community is always like, he always tells people they're wrong, but he never admits it's a mistake. And like, that's, that's one of the things that, um, that's the misunderstanding that people never see the whole entire situation. They're like, they always see me like yelling at people, but they never see me getting like bashed on, you know? So like, uh, in all honesty, it's, it's one of those situations where people really don't see the whole picture and um, I'm fine with that. You know, so far I've accepted it and got over all the hate, hate and rage and there's all the happiness and goodness where it's like, oh, my child watches you. I'm like, oh, I better like cut down the swearing. Um, there's actually people that send pictures and fan signs every once in a blue moon that show their kid watching my stream or show their group of friends watching my stream or, you know, just lots and lots of people watching my stream. It's very interesting to see the faces of the people. So like from then there, it's like my motivation comes from the fans also where I make videos, guides, you know, analysis, um, just playing the game in general. Although I don't always talk a lot or talk in stream or show emotion a lot, it's a, it's a really heartwarming thing. Mm -hmm.